YouTube, what's good, YouTube? What is good? What is going on? My smell good family. What's happening, y'all, man? Hopefully everything is going well. Hopefully everything is great in your lives. Positive energy and positive vibes. I know how we give it up on this channel for sure. All right, so glad that you all were able to join me uh, for another fragrance video. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the fragrance that I, I really like a lot. I really enjoy the line. Um, you know, I hear a little chatter here and there about the fragrance. Well, I did upon its early release earlier this year, but it's kind of kind of dwindled down. So, but um, I'm still rocking with it, and I've worn it enough, man. Where I want to give my full review, my full thoughts on it, uh, and any recommendations that may come with this style of fragrance. All right. So, before we get started, um, if anybody out there would like to be a member of the Smell Good family, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like the video, and meet me down in the comments, and we can talk about what you love and what I love. And that is the art of fragrances, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. We're gonna be doing a full review on this beauty here from the house of Valentino. We have Born in Roma's Coral Fantasy. All right, Born in Roma, Coral Fantasy. All right, now I'm a fan of the line. I have, I think, four from this line. I have the Born in I have the original Born in Roma. That's kind of like, a, you know, people say it's similar to maybe like a Invictus style uh, fragrance. And then I get why they say that, um, but it definitely has some of its own mannerisms uh, with that fragrance. I have Yellow Dream, um, which is a gourmand style fragrance that's versatile for really all year long with that gingerbread note. And then you have, uh, I think it's Warmo Intense. Uh, much more darker DNA with that iris snow in there uh, as well. And then you have this one here. I, I know there's others in the line, but those are just the four that I have, all right? So we're going to get into the performance of this thing. We're going to get into, you know, what my nose picks up compared to what the note breakdown is from Fragrantica. And um, then, you know, we'll give a rating at the end of the video, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and get this on a tester strip. And I've smelled it plenty of times before, but when I do these reviews, I kind of like to smell uh, as I talk, all right? So let's go ahead and get this on a strip, two sprays, nothing too crazy. And boy, just get those opening notes just bursting, bursting now. So, <sighs> so right away, you get this big apple note, red apple. Uh, just think of a crispy, honey crisp apple. <laughs> That's what you get with this thing. And then you get this tobacco that's just dancing with this apple. You do get this uh, kind of soapiness to it as well um, as you smell it in the opening, a fresh spiciness that also comes with this thing. But the two main notes that my nose picks up is definitely that red apple and that tobacco. Now, when you get a tobacco fragrance in a warmer weather style fragrance you you know maybe some people have you know the antennas are up a bit you know kind of curious can, can it even work you know doing something like that and with this yeah it can work and it works really well to my nose so the open of this thing is very very pleasant i think if you are into the born in roma line that you you would definitely uh enjoy this one for sure um, but you know, it's, it's really, 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 really good. Okay. Just the opening. So the presentation of the bottle as well is very nice. They always have those stylish style bottles, man. If I can get this thing to get in focus really fast. I don't know why my camera wants to play around. There we go. So kind of got this studded glass bottle, uh, kind of black up top and kind of transform all the way down to a clear bottle with this pinkish juice. That is on the inside. Um, the original bottles don't have a cap, uh, but this one does. So the cap is right there, just a snap in place cap, nothing too crazy, okay? So um, Valentino across the middle in pink, um, batch code and uh, style, what is this? So this is an EDT, all right? This is an EDT concentration, 100 mils. Uh, 3.4 ounces so a you know sleek nice looking design uh with this style of fragrance all right in the box the box ain't really nothing just you know valentino in the middle born in roma coral fantasy down below black and pink box nothing nothing too crazy all right 
So, let's go ahead and get into my experience with the fragrance. Now, I have worn this a handful of times to the office. Uh, I've worn it around the crib just to test it and, and really get a feel for what this fragrance can do. And in my opinion, you know, this thing is really a versatile style fragrance. Um, you know, for really three seasons, I think you can get away with this for spring, summer, and you can get away with this in early fall right before it gets a little too cold. So we talked about the opening notes to my nose. Let's go ahead and get into the actual breakdown of what Fragrantica, Fragrantica has to say. All right, so in the main accord, you get an aromatic, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, fruity, tobacco, sweet, patchouli, woody, lavender, citrus style fragrance, okay? Down in the notes uh, up top, you get red apple, cardamom, and caribbean, calabrian, bergamot. All right, down the mid, you get bourbon, geranium, lavender, and clary sage. And down in the base, you get tobacco leaf, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. All right, so that is the note breakdown according uh, to uh, Fragrantica. So, like I said before, this is a very pleasing, pleasant fragrance, and I really enjoy the smell. And with my experience, you know, like I said, I've worn this a handful of time, but mainly to the office. And what I get uh, with this thing is that it projects beautifully. I got about two hours of solid projection uh, with this thing for sure. And that red apple and that fresh spiciness and that tobacco hint, that hint of tobacco leaf is mostly what I'm getting. You get a slight soapy vibe from the lavender and the vetiver, of course. Um, but um, all in all, I think all the notes in this thing dance beautifully. So projection is about two hours. The sillage of this thing is really, really nice, especially in, um, in the first two to three hours uh, of the fragrance, all right? So walking by somebody or somebody's walking by you, they're definitely gonna be able to pick up uh, this scent. Um, it's really, really nice, all right? It's, um, how can, let's see. It, it's, it's one for me that if I don't wanna think about what I want to wear, if I just want to get something that just smells good, this falls under that category. All right, just smells good. I don't really have to dumb reach, dumb reach fragrance that I can just grab and it smells good. And you know, I'm not even even thinking about compliments or nothing like that, but compliments will come when you wear this. Um, overall, longevity on this thing and performance, me personally, I got around that seven hour mark. It depends how you spray. Now, I'm a proud member of the guillotine boys. Guillotine gang, I'm spraying it up, man. So normally I go seven to 10 sprays. I'm not a light sprayer. Um, I spray pretty decent. And um, that's why I'm able to probably get an extra hour of performance. Someone out there may get six hours out of this thing, but I'm getting around seven um, before it becomes a skin set. And even then, um, when I get home from work and I change my work clothes into more something comfortable, I can still get wasps of this thing when I'm changing my clothes um, from the long work day. Okay, so decent performer for sure. Um, great projection. Like I said, two hours of very strong projection with this thing. Um, CIG is decent as well. This will garner you compliments, especially if you're in an office setting or you're in an environment where there's a lot of people kind of you know, a lot of moving traffic around you. This is something that somebody will pick up and may inquire, you know, what it is that you have on. They might want to know exactly what that fragrance is that you are wearing, okay? So again, um, pound for pound, this is just going to be a really a dumb reach for me when I just don't feel like putting a lot of thought and effort into what I'm going to wear. Something I know for a fact is just gonna get the job done for me to smell good and, and give off a presentation for myself throughout the day that I would deem uh, acceptable. I have real high standards for myself and this one would definitely fall uh, into that category, okay? So, solid performer, very good uh, scent, smells really, really nice. Um, very versatile for the seasons, versatile to actually where you want to wear this um, as well. And if you're a fan of apple and just uh, fresh spiciness, you're gonna love this. Now, some people may be kind of put off by the tobacco that's dancing with the red apple and the cardamom and the lavender, but I just don't really think that it's a deal breaker. Even as it's drying down, you're getting more of the lavender, you still get that red apple, you still dealing with that spiciness, uh, fresh spiciness in this fragrance. So, like I said, I'm still just getting that pleasant, beautiful uh, opening still there, but as it's fading down to the mid, 
you know, it's still smelling really well. Okay, so overall, solid performer. Smells really, really good. Um, and I think people, um, you guys will be happy with this purchase if you haven't purchased it already. And of course, you can go and test this out at your local dealers, Macy's. Um, you can go test this. This is something that you don't have to blind buy. But if you're just kind of uh, eager to grab it after this review, I think it's blind buy safe. I think it's blind buy safe because it's not an offensive fragrance. It's not something that is too complicated. Nothing that you're just gonna have to really put a lot of thought into to wear. You could just really grab this, spray it, and you can go on, okay? So that's just my personal thoughts on this juice. Like I said, when it first came out, you saw a lot of coverage on it, but now that it's kind of been out for a few months, you're kind of seeing it kind of mellow out. Um, but just to let you know, it's still a good fragrance, all right? This is my opinion. I think it's a really, really good fragrance okay so yeah so that's pretty much my full review uh on valentino's born in roma coral fantasy they have the longest names uh associated with this line um and just all in all smells good good performer great presentation you can't go wrong with this one if it's something that you want to look into now i'm not sure if this was on discounters as of yet you might can catch a discount here now with macy's and dealers because they're running all kind of sales throughout the summer, but I think retail for this was around 90 bucks. Uh, EDT concentration, 3.4 ounces, 100 ml. All right, so that's what you're working with there, okay? So let me know down below in the comments how many of you guys have this. Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have a difference of opinions? Do you agree? Let's talk about it down below in the comments, man. I personally really enjoy this. As a matter of fact, I may be wearing this tomorrow because that apple and that, that tobacco leaf is just doing this thing right now uh, with my nose and it just smells really good. Really, really good, all right? So yeah, great fragrance here. All right, Smell Good family, it's gonna wrap up this uh, full review of Valentino's uh, Born in Roma, Coral Fantasy, all right? So thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you for the support. We are closing in on 2,000 subscribers. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, it seemed like just the other day we were celebrating 1,000 and now we're knocking on the door to 2,000, man, and we're gonna be doing a giveaway, all right? This may be even involved with the giveaway. I don't know, we'll see um, what we're gonna be doing uh, for the 2,000 uh, subscriber giveaway, all right? So y'all stay tuned for that. All right, be cool, be safe, guys. Take care of yourselves, smell good family. Thank y'all for sure. And uh, please, by all means, keep smelling good. Please, keep smelling good.